Hi, in this video, I want to share the best books on bipolar disorder. These books helped me the most when I first got diagnosed with bipolar disorder and throughout my recovery and path to stability. The first book I recommend is Rock Steady by Ellen Forney. This book is a complete toolkit on how to manage bipolar disorder. What I love about this book is that it is illustrated. So while it goes into depth about bipolar disorder and strategies to manage it, it is very easy to read and something that I come back to time and time again. The main philosophy of this book is called SMEDMERTS, which stands for Sleep, Meds, Eat, Doctor, Mindfulness, Exercise, Routine, Tools, and Support System. The book covers the different types of bipolar disorders, the different types of therapies that are available, various coping tools. For example, here is a breathing exercise. There are also chapters on dealing with insomnia, dealing with medications and side effects, and traveling. There's a chapter on identifying warning signs of an episode and how to deal with them that I found extremely helpful when I first got diagnosed and was dealing with severe mania and depression. It is really a complete bipolar toolkit. There's a section about how to tell people in your life that you've just been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and how to deal with stigma. It is really a great starting point for learning about bipolar disorder, and there are even recommendations for other documentaries, websites, and resources to check out. My favorite page, and that I have bookmarked, and that I return to often, says, The big thing to remember about depression is, it will end. So overall, it's a very useful book for anyone who's just been diagnosed, or even if you've been living with bipolar disorder for a while and want all your tools and strategies in one place. The next book I would recommend is Taking Charge of Bipolar Disorder by Julie Fast and John Preston. This book is extremely informative when I first got diagnosed with bipolar disorder and knew very little about it. It covers the spectrums of bipolar disorder and goes into depth about symptoms. The four-step plan covers medication and supplements, lifestyle changes such as sleep, diet, exercise, and light therapy, behavioral changes, and asking for help. What I also like about this book is that it is also partly a workbook so you can read through it and fill in your own symptoms, triggers, or write your own plans. There are also lots of helpful charting and journaling tools on the back pages that you can use. And finally, this book features short stories from people who have bipolar disorder. This was really helpful when I first got diagnosed, one, to help me recognize the symptoms of bipolar disorder within myself, and two, to hear from people who have been where I am, it offered a lot of hope. So I would definitely recommend this book to anyone with bipolar disorder, or if you know someone with bipolar disorder and want to learn more about the illness and how to manage it. This book is extremely helpful. So those are the two books I would most recommend for bipolar disorder. I hope you check them out and that they are helpful to you. I also wanted to talk briefly about a book I would not recommend, and that is Getting It Done When You Are Depressed, by the same authors Julie Fast and John Preston. In my opinion, this book has some really good tips if you're struggling with motivation or time management or just want to be more productive. This book, however, is not useful for depression at all. On the back, it says, feel the depression and do it anyways, and that basically sums up what this book is about. When you're depressed, you literally cannot do things anyways. That's what depression is. I think this book really makes it seem like depression is something you can just get over if you try hard enough, and that is completely misguided. Depression is not an issue of willpower, and I think the pull yourself up by the bootstraps approach is not helpful for anyone truly suffering from depression and can even be invalidating. So those are just my thoughts on some of the books I've read on my own bipolar journey. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Bye!